Hey folks, another day, another video. So today I'm going to be doing a video on Xactimate Mobile. This is for my friends who are insurance adjusters who may have been curious about Xactimate Mobile but really haven't spent the time to check it out. And I'm going to try and do something different. This is the first in a series of three videos. So first off, why Xactimate Mobile? Well, to put it plainly, because taking notes on paper and taking a whole bunch of photos that I have to label and going back to my hotel or my car or someplace quiet like a Starbucks or McDonald's, which are never quiet, and trying to input all that data into the computer is really time consuming. It's like doing the work twice. I do it on paper and then I go back and I do data entry. So Xactimate Mobile is a way to do the sketch and take the pictures while I'm on site, capturing all the detail, organizing all the photos so I have to do a minimum amount of labeling, and when I leave, I've got the estimate and I'm done. I don't have to go back and play with paper. Um, so it will save you a ton of time. It's a little bit slower to, um, to put it into the computer than it is drawn on paper, but it's way faster than going back and trying to go, oh, what, what did I take this note about? What was this about? What was that photo? Was, was that in the bedroom one or bedroom two? Yeah, so that's why Xactimate Mobile. So I am using a condo that a friend of mine is remodeling and um, that's going to be in the backdrop. I'm just going to do this room for the purposes of this video. So the first video I'm going to do is going to be just drawing this without a disto. Now I have a disto. Any of the dis like a distos will work with Xactimate Mobile, but I'm going to put the numbers in by hand. And I'm gonna I, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing on the on the screen. There are a lot of screen videos out there, but what they don't show you is what you actually need to do to work Xactimate Mobile, and it doesn't work like any other app you've ever used, which makes it really really frustrating. So, without further ado, here we are. So I'm gonna turn the camera so that you guys can see what I'm doing. All right. What do you need to run Xactimate Mobile? Well. I have a cheap $22 case and an iPad Air that's about four and a half years old. It works, but I'm really pushing the iPad and it's obvious. I am on cellular data and I think that's a necessity. I don't think you should do this with a Wi-Fi only. And in fact, um, another gesture who was experimenting with it this week at a class that I attended lost all of his photos in his sketch because he was using his phone as a hotspot and it dropped in the middle of an upload. That's not faster. That's infuriating. So don't be like that. Um, so anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I have created a contractor estimate and I'm gonna have to switch around so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I've created a contractor estimate and up here is the menu. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the estimate and it opens up sketch and you're like, okay, what in the world? So this is the tool selector over here and you need to start with the tool selector and you can choose roof, window, door, square breaks, which missing walls, stairs, fences, areas, and blocks. So I'm going to start with a room and you can do dimensioned or sketch or sketch cam. I don't think sketch cam works, so I'm not using that. I'm just going to use that. And wherever I push drops a room. Now, one of the things I, I want to I'm gonna turn this so I can kind of hold it a little bit better. One of the things you can move these around so I can pick that up and drag it and I can whatever I've got selected moves. So I can do this and up here is the undo. Undo. Well, undo doesn't work quite as well as you think. Down here is the rotate, flip, flip, copy and delete and properties. So I'm going to delete that. I'm going to go in here and delete and go into the properties. I can name it, make it a subgroup, change the floor height, mess with the wall thickness, the ceiling, etc, etc. That's where all the properties live. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that room. And now I'm going to go in here and the first thing I need to do is I need to measure this room. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get my measurement with my disco. So I'm going to get powered up here. So I've got 13 feet, two inches. And so what I want to do is select the room, 
touch the wall, touch the wall again. At this point, I need to touch it a third time. Now these little arrows pop up. I wanna push, oops. So you see I tapped off. So select the room, select the wall. I wanna select the wall again. That opens up the direction. I wanna push the wall that way. And now I'm just gonna pull this up to 13 feet, two inches. And now I'm going to click to extend the wall. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the width of this room. So in order to do that, I'm going to grab my measurement, which is 10 foot nine inches. So I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna tap off the room, select the room, select the wall, select it again, tap 10 foot nine inches, okay? And I'm gonna draw that. Now, I didn't see it, but I've got a closet over here with some funky doors. Okay, I've got one walk door, I've got another walk door, another walk door, Man, I don't know what in the heck they were thinking. This should have been a sliding door, but you know, when you go out to a property, you're gonna see all sorts of crazy stuff, including this, where there's four walk doors side by side. I'm gonna show you how you do this. This is really not that hard. So the first thing I need to do is I need to know how deep is this closet, what are the dimensions on the closet? So I'm gonna shoot it in my disco. It is two feet deep. and nine foot, 11 inches, and 31, 30 seconds. So we're gonna call that two foot by 10 foot. So you how you add a room. And there's two ways to do this. You could add a room like this and then dimension it. So you could bring it in here and you could dimension it. But that's not really how we sketch in Xactimate. So what I wanna do is I wanna select this wall and now I'm going to push, hold, and drag Okay, and so you can see here, I have selected that wall and I'm gonna undo that. So I'm gonna select this wall and I'm gonna push and hold and I'm gonna drag this out. And now it gives me the option to extend the room or add a room, so I'm gonna add a room, okay? And now I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna push that way and I want it to be two feet. So I, I set that and then Select off, select again. And I'm having a little bit of trouble because this is an older iPad. All right, so there we go. So I drag it down. And now I'm gonna set this to be 10 feet. Boom, done. You go, okay, great, but you don't have any doors. You're right. So let me get the door measurement real quick. They are two foot doors. So I'm gonna to switch tools to a door and we'll just put a door here, okay? Now I'm gonna pick over here and I'm gonna come back and select the door. So, and what you see is I'm pinching or pushing my fingers to expand the size. So I'm gonna grab that door and now I'm gonna go into properties and set that to be a two foot door. Okay, now I've got a two foot door here and you go, okay, that's great, now what? Well, now I'm, I've got it selected still, so I'm gonna hit copy. Boom. And I'm gonna select it again, hit copy to pick it up. There, there's all four of my doors that are two foot a piece. Okay, now I need to do the door that the camera is hanging on and it's over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go back and grab a standard door and I'm just gonna drop it in here. Oh, you know what? This door doesn't open that way, so I'm gonna flip it. Boom, there's my door. Let me check the measurement real quick. 
It's two foot eight inches, which is 32 inches. That's a 30 inch door. So I'll go ahead and select that, jump into properties, go to here to open this up. To close this, you just tap it again. Boom, done. Okay, now we need to get this window. And with windows, you start with the base height. So I'm gonna start on the screen, two fingers together pan the room, okay? So I'm gonna go to window and I'm just gonna drop it right there. While you can move it around, it doesn't really matter. So the first thing I need to know is the base height of this window. So I'm gonna come over here and get the base height. It is a four foot nine base height. So I'm gonna come back in here and tap here to unselect. And what I was trying to do is I had to let go of the tool because I've got the tool picked up. So I need to click here to let go of the tool, pick the window, go into its properties. Base height of four foot nine inches. Okay. And I promise you that with a disto tape measure, this is way, way faster. All right, but I'm showing you how to work this thing. All right, so it's mad at me about the height of the window. So let me make this a one foot height window. Now I can set my base height, four foot, nine inches. All right, let me get the width and the height of this window. One foot 10 by five foot 11. So it's gonna be a two foot by six foot window, six foot, two foot, boom, done. So at this point, I've got this almost done. Room, properties, I'm going to go into the label and I'm gonna choose bedroom. All right, close that, go here. Oh, I don't wanna pick both, go. And I'm gonna go in here and Choose custom name, grab that again. That'll open this up, closet, done. Subgroup of bedroom, close, boom, there you go. And so let's talk a little bit about these icons up here. So I can go into 3D and again, I just two, two fingers moves it around and one finger turns it and I can look at my room in three dimensions and I go, hey, wait a second, that window, that window's not right. Well, I grab it, go into properties. What's wrong with it? Well, it is a horizontal sliding window and there's no window grid. Boom, done. Looks just like the window. So there you have it. In a nutshell, that is Xactimate by hand. So I'm gonna do another video that is exact made with a disto, and that's where the fun begins. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like my video, subscribe to my channel if you wanna see new videos that I come up with when I post them, and if you have questions, please feel free to ask them.